Hi, I'm Dr. Susan Huang, and I'm a dermatologist and dermatologic surgeon at the Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center. Thank you for choosing to have your skin biopsy here at the BIDMC. Today, we'll go over how to take care of your biopsy. You may have either had a shave biopsy or a punch biopsy. If you have a punch biopsy, you likely have stitches in place. Regardless of which type of biopsy you had, the care for the site is still the same, but your wound may look different. Keep the area covered for 24 hours with the bandage that was applied in your doctor's office. You will need the following supplies to take care of your biopsy site. Q-tips, petroleum jelly, bandages. After 24 hours, remove the bandage Wash the site with soap and water to gently remove any crusts or scabs. For most people, this is easiest to do in the shower. Gently pat dry after washing. Then, apply petroleum jelly with a clean Q-tip. There is no need to use a special antibiotic ointment. In fact, antibiotic ointments often cause an allergic reaction. Cover with a Band-Aid or if you are sensitive to adhesive, you can use a nonstick pad or gauze with paper tape. Repeat these steps each day until your shave biopsy is healed or until you have your sutures removed. Complications after a biopsy are not common, however, if you experience excessive bleeding that does not stop with firm pressure for 20 minutes, followed by another 20 minutes, fever, extreme pain, spreading redness and firmness, or pus, call us immediately so that we can evaluate your biopsy site.